the delicate balance between individual freedoms and governmental duties is a perennial topic of debate. These people that make these policies, they work for you. You don't work for them. And it's not okay for you to hear gunshots and, and think that that's okay. Weska's sister, Lily O'Brien, and his family, through this video provided by the FOP, let their frustrations be known and signaled why they asked Mayor Johnson and Governor Pritzker to stay away from the mass. Chicago needs to step up and hold the people who make these policies that allow third, fourth, five chances to people that have made so many mistakes and then they turn around and they murder innocent people. The mayor planned to attend the funeral, but after calls directly to him explaining the family's wishes, an hour before the funeral, he changed his mind. While critiquing policies perceived as overly lenient towards repeat offenders, it's acknowledged that navigating the intricacies of governance while ensuring public safety and preserving civil liberties poses significant challenges. One can commend bereaved families for advocating responsibility while also recognizing the profound psychological toll inflicted by their loss. Emotionally, there's empathy for the anguish experienced by bereaved families who attribute Officer Luis Huesca's demise to what they see as the leniency of criminal justice policies. Generally, there's a prioritization of respect towards law enforcement agencies, viewing the actions of grieving families as legitimate expressions of grief and outrage. It's worth examining how emotions like anger, frustration, and the pursuit of justice influence behavior and shape the grieving process. Additionally, one should consider the psychological impact of political discourse and media portrayal on public perception and collective mourning. 